looks like he's he from is, Australia. He's from Australia. Yep. He's huh. Visiting. Oh, that's really cool. Um, so we're gonna see uh, Joku versus Bowser. This isn't a fantastic matchup for Bowser, I feel like, but it's super, super doable. And right off the bat, um, you know, he's able to rack up so much damage, 27% with that neutral be alone. But Joku's advantage state comes out to play, but unfortunately, at Lowe's was at the corner of the stage for Ralphie, so he wasn't able to get all of his extensions. Ooh, great call out on the commitment to the neutral B with the falling neutral air. And right now, this is super, super scary for Bowser because he has a hitbox coming up, and that's the stock. So, really great patient ledge guard from uh, Ralphie coming out there. And I love what Atlos is doing right now. He's standing at the Angel platform, he's waiting out the other side, and Ralphie getting an up air, up air, uh, missing the third forward and maybe trying to read a DIN. Uh, at Lowe's already shaking his head, you know, he's at 72%, you know, within a matter of 15 seconds. Great parry, ah, but failing to punish because, you know, it's a projectile. Pro parry projectiles in ultimate is a little bit strange unless somebody is doing it, you know, super, super up close, you know, at CQC. Um, and right now this is really, really dangerous for Lowe's, but I love his mix-up on his positioning to recover. You know, he was like, Make sure he wouldn't get counted and make sure he wouldn't get back in. So really good attempt from Lowe's. But right now, Ralphie getting the drag down up and into up smash, which is really easy to land on big bodies, because even if you don't uh, space the up air perfectly, there's just their size is just so forgiving. But the forward air calling out uh, the jump from Ralphie, effectively cleaning up the stock. Um, ooh, I, Ralphie was definitely trying to go for another drag down up air up smash, maybe on the platform but missing it, um, and at Lowe's, almost barely not making it back, but still a fantastic Valiant effort from his part. And Ralphie right now is just like choosing to keep him off the stage, perpetuate, you know, his disadvantage. Right now he has to find a way to get out of this corner as soon as possible, but that upbeat, so active, and getting another neutral B out of that already at 55%. Um, but the dash attack more than enough to take out the stock, especially when Bowser is at 206% at lows. Playing really, really patiently right now, making sure you just get that extra millisecond on our send off. But Ralphie just able to get all of these conversions off on Bowser. Already at 54%. A great back here leading the cross up. Um, and again, um, I feel like Lowe's is like doing a fantastic job of. Um, I don't want to say leading, but like at least. Um, playing rock, paper, scissors really well as to where Ralphie is going to be at a given moment. Um, and punishing it accordingly either with that back or the neutral B. Um, but Lowe's dropping the edge guard opportunity. And uh, Ralphie choosing to throw him off stage and the down B ending the stock. And that was really great positioning from out Lowe's, allowing him to snap at ledge almost immediately. Uh, I really like the fact that Outlaws was so confident in his positioning that he'd be able to. Um, that he would, he, he would be able to go past the F-Smash, so that just shows off a little bit of his matchup knowledge there. But the back hit... Wow. That was really interesting. I've never seen that happen before. Where the first hit landed the KO screen, but then the second hit would come out after that it ended. Regardless, that was a really... I think that was a fantastic um, game one. Uh, Atlos was definitely like starting to outplay Ralphie a little bit, but... Um, Ralphie was just like super super solid and making sure to maximize every single percent like optimize every single percent of his conversions on Bowser because when you're a character like Joker right and you get a grab off you know you should be on a character like Bowser you should be dealing at least 54 percent especially when you have a son um, but right now we're gonna see um, them going to Kalos. And I feel like this is a fantastic stage choice from Lowe's because this will effectively prevent him from getting hit by drag down up air, up smash um, as he would on PS2. So right now in this set, um, I feel like if Lowe's can make sure he doesn't die super early to those edge guards, he can make the turnaround. But Ralphie uh, starting off with that non committal neutral air, but then getting called out for the upbeat. That was really that was really interesting. I'm not really sure what Ralphie intended by that. Maybe he's trying to have a hard call out on a jump. Um, you know, up to a forward air, not a true conversion past 
30% unless you just catch somebody sleeping not choosing to air dodge. Um, ooh, and Bo's able to get out of point of pressure, but right now he's just getting stringed along with those dash attacks. Really, really unfortunate SD though coming from Lowe's. Um, you know, it's still extremely doable, I feel like, especially after that side B getting 85%, and I feel like that was the first side B of the set. Um, because I feel like he spent the first game conditioning Ralphie to shield a little bit, but then was never really capitalizing off of it, you know, with Bowser's pivot grabs and Bowser's side Bs. And right now he needs to find a way to land. Great choice of an air dodge. I would have thought he would have landed on the platform, and Ralphie did too, but he opted to drift towards the stage and get back to free. But um, right now that's not going to work the same way twice. And you see him, like, going out a lot of spot dodges, and Ralphie's just, like, calling him out on that, able to get a bigger punish than he normally would be. And this is something that Ralphie is, like, fantastic at. He's able to, like, gauge when the opponent is going to get up or is when they're going to hang on ledge. And he just gets so much mileage off of ledge traps. Great up tilt. Um, you know, the hitbox on it is huge. You know, and it's going to definitely beat out almost anything that Joku can do while landing. So I love that option from him. And, you know, just bringing this percent in equity closer and closer. I feel like hmm, he was trying to mix up his recovery, but I'm not sure in that instance uh, it was particularly necessary. But right now, Ralphie's showing off a very clean 38-45%, um, catching him landing on his shield, making sure, you know, that his downer is not going to go unpunished. And I love that from Ralphie. He just drifted in between the hitboxes of his jab 1 and jab 2. And Ralphie is just like blending him, he's just like throwing him around the stage, keeping him in disadvantage for, for a really long time. Lowe's needs to just find a way to like halt Ralphie's really oppressive momentum right now. Um, interesting choice that Ralphie chose not to keep up the coin of pressure. He chose to retreat to center stage there. Um, but yeah, right now Lowe's has a mountain to climb if he wants to make this back. But I feel like, I think he was able to grab onto the legend time before Ralphie got the counter hitbox off. So great awareness from Lowe's, great spacing of his upbeat. And that's something you definitely want to be wary of with Bowser. Bowser has maybe one of the worst uh, tech rolls in the game, and it's very reactable. And with a character like uh, Joku, wow. That drag down up here, up smash was enough to take it. Um, very convincing, clean 2 0 from Ralphie. Um, you know, in game two, we saw Ralphie. I think we just saw Ralphie be able to, like in the, in the first game, we saw him get like so much off of a few hits, but without Arsen, as he didn't have Arsen as much in the set, without it, he was still able to just string him along and call out those spot dodges. He was able to call out those air dodges really well. So fantastic adaptation from Ralphie.